Hello, my soccer universe. This is another kind of opinion video on the recent happenings. Uh, not as quick as the Pochettino firing, because I think it will take a while, but we're talking about Zlatan's future. His contract with the Galaxy is up. By the end of the year, he will be free to join. And yeah, I'm wearing the Sweden 2008 jersey, where he actually scored uh, one goal, I think, against Greece in. And I have here basically all Jerseys from clubs during the meaningful career of Zlatan, from Ajax, Juve, Inter, Barcelona, Milan, that Milan jersey he actually played in, PSG and Manchester United. Uh, before that was Malmö and after that was the LA Galaxy. So uh, basically we have the junk uh, where he was arguably in his prime in there. And all these clubs here are also kind of in there a little bit. Um, Let's go. I don't think Ajax doesn't really fit with Ajax. They are going for youth and they have already an aging uh, striker in there. But, you know, it would be interesting him going back to Ajax. Juve has too many strikers. Inter needs strikers, so Zlatan would fit there. But I think his personality and Counter's personality will not fit. That I'm pretty certain he won't do. Barcelona, um, yeah, there's the one where he actually didn't really work. Um, it's not Guardiola there anymore, but there's still Messi there. I'm not sure if that will work, to be honest. And I think Barcelona, they would need a striker, but you have Luis Suarez still. I don't think Slatan will work. Milan, they are the front runners at the moment. I think Milan could use goals. Uh, that's the one thing, and uh, when I look at the betting odds and all the reports, Milan is offering Slatan 18 months, 6 million euros, maybe not quite what he, what he is thinking is appropriate on the other side. Um, you also have to say that his wife, and that's a big thing, would want to go to Milan. So Milan, I think, I honestly would take Slatan for now. Uh, I think he's still in excellent form, given his age. I think he's he is past his prime, but he's not he's not a normal guy. He is really fit. He's still agile and and so on, and he can provide the necessary punch. And I think Milan at the moment needs um, punch uh, to score against smaller opponents to make the chances that are presented to them. And uh, Piontek, unfortunately. He was amazing when they bought him. Same thing with Paqueta. Now there's something missing. Slatan, I think, could do that. I don't see him as a ma as a starter necessarily, but you know, bring him on or substitute him off after. I think Slatan can still, especially in a league like Italy, where it's not as fast paced. I think Slatan can have an enormous impact. He can make an impact in many other ways in other leagues too, and we'll talk about other. I think Milan, I actually, I know it doesn't fit necessarily the current squad philosophy, but I think this could work for Milan to fix a need right there and then. And they are in the running. They want to get it. We're meeting today with Mino Raiola, so let's see. PSG, um, similar problem as uh, Juventus. Too many strikers already there. Um, yes, he probably elevated PSG to the next level, but then when they were wanting to take the next step, and this is my problem with Zlatan. I'm a big Zlatan fan. Even when he was at Inter, there was always something about Zlatan that I liked. I like his uh, over-the-top personality. I know, I, I'm actually quite certain that it's mostly an act, that he may, puts it out there, but I, I, I love that. I think we have too little of that in today's soccer world, and we have way too little personality. So. I really love uh, Zlatan just saying Zlatan things. It's amazing, honestly. Uh, he is a consistent goal scorer in a league. He will be a main contributor if you want to make a title challenge in a league because he will get to the goals against small opponents. When Milan got Zlatan, Milan had the firepower up front to actually consistently make points. This is what Zlatan does for you. Uh, and he has done this for Inter, he has done this at every, almost every uh, place where he has been. He elevates his team. The one big criticism of Zlatan is he is not one for knockout stage. That's why he has not won a Champions League. 
um, he is criminally absent when something's on the line and it's a do or die game. Uh, that's the one criticism I have of him, and he gets has. Uh, I remember once an Inter Manchester United or was it against Liverpool rematch, where uh, Inter needed to make up a two goal deficit and he just didn't show up uh, in a season where he was really already dominant. Otherwise, and it also says a lot that Inter won the Champions League the season after Slatan left. It is what it is. So yeah, uh, and same thing for Sweden. Uh, when it came to the knockouts, and Sweden has not played many knockout games under Ibrahimovic, but the, I, I remember he was in the quarterfinal against uh, the Netherlands. No show. I think he missed a penalty uh, in Germany and the World Cup 2006. Nothing from him. Uh, 2008, they didn't even make it to the knockout stages, but they had a decisive game against Russia. Where was Latan? He was playing in this jersey. So that's my criticism. But if you want to go up in the league, Slatan is the perfect player for you. Manchester United, I think, would be in a similar situation as Milan. They would need the goals. Um, but would they commit to an older player as well? Um, also, how would his impact be in the Premier League? I think he made a good impact in the Premier League when he was there. I just think he can make a much bigger impact in Serie A. And yeah, we talk about Napoli. I think Napoli at the moment is a little bit of a mess. I think he didn't wanna, wouldn't want to go there. I think Bologna would be kind of this romantic choice. I just think Bologna is too small for Slatan. Malmö, I think it's too early. I think he will finish his career at Malmö. That's maybe two years from now. One and a half, two years from now. I think if, let's say, he takes the 18-month deal with Milan, after Milan he will go to Malmö and finish his career. I think this is what might as, what might as well happen. Um, I thought a very interesting suggestion was Liverpool. Because Liverpool needs a substitute star, in a way. <sighs> he doesn't press. Well, I think he could play this Fernando Llorente role that uh, it was last year at Spurs. That could be an interesting one. Just bring him on when you need a goal. There, I think he could be interesting. There, maybe he might win a Champions League, although I said I don't think he will win that one. As for the moment, it seems most likely he will go to Milan. I personally would be very happy if I would know that he is signed for Milan. Um, I will pull out my Milan shirt and I will run around in my Milan shirt. Because that's a signing that I think will advance them. Let me know what you think about Zlatan and where you think he will go. Any? Do you like him? Do you not? I personally, I love Zlatan. I, I really do. He's a spectacular player. If he just would show up in important games, that is something I that makes him not in my all-time top 10 list. Even or maybe even top 10 strikers that I've seen, but he's as spectacular as they get on the field and off the field. Anyway, I would like to hear your opinion. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.